Okay, you want to subtract based on criteria. I'm going to look at two examples. In the first, we'll use an if statement to perform the subtraction. And then the second example, we'll use a VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. So in the first example, I only want to perform this timed word calculation if there's a time in and a time out. Now I'll just show you how you would express the criteria if you're just looking for a time out. You would use the function called isNumber and you could evaluate whether there is a numeric value in the timed out cell. And it would return true if there is a number and false if there isn't. Now, if you want to check if there's both a time in and a time out, then you need to use the AND function. So I'm already checking whether there's a time out, but I also need to check whether there is a time in. So now if I copy this down, you can see I get two forces rather than one. So what I can now do is put this within an if, and I'm gonna say if this logical test returns true, then I want to perform the calculation timeout minus time in. Otherwise I want to return an empty text string, or you could put a zero. So if I copy this down, you can see it returns that calculation. I need to apply the time format. Now, additionally, I want to subtract 30 minutes from this time if I've got a Y in the lunch column. So I'm gonna use another if, and I'm gonna say if there's a value of Y, and because Y is a text value, that criteria needs to go in speech marks, then I want to perform this calculation, but subtract this value here from the time worked. And I need to lock that because I'll be copying this formula down. So I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard. That puts the dollars in that cell reference. If F4 doesn't work for you, type the dollars in as they are displayed there. Now, if there is no Y in that cell, I just want to perform this calculation. That goes in the value of false. Close the bracket, press enter, and you can see it's not 30 minutes off of this time. Copy it down and it doesn't affect any of the other times, but if I put a Y in here, it would reduce this time work to four hours. So let's look at the second example. Here, I want to discount these prices by these amounts according to the category of the product. Now for this, I'd use a V lookup, although you could use an X lookup. I'm looking up this value here, comma, in this table array, which I need to lock. And again, I'm using F4 on my keyboard to do that. If F4 doesn't work for you, just type the dollars in as you see them there. Comma, call index number, I'm returning values from the second column. And I'm doing an exact match, so that's false at the end, or you can put in a zero. So if I press enter, you can see it's returning the correct discount for each of these products. So then what I can do is just do a simple subtraction calculation, the original unit price minus the result of the VLOOKUP, copy it down, and it applies the discount. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next video.